On this week's Top Hydrogen News, Toyota shows off its portable hydrogen cartridges, another hydrogen supercar, and Harvard sounds the alarm on high green hydrogen costs. I'm Steve Hill, CEO of New Hydrogen. Thanks for joining us. This week at Japan's Mobility Show Biz Week 2024, Toyota is showing off its portable hydrogen cartridge concepts that resemble giant AA batteries designed for versatile energy applications. This is so cool. These lightweight, easily replaceable cartridges offer a practical solution for powering various devices, from vehicles to homes. Each cartridge can be refueled and swapped out, potentially providing a more convenient and rapid energy source than charging electric vehicles. Toyota's goal is to create a hydrogen energy ecosystem where consumers can easily access renewable energy, tackling storage and distribution challenges while exploring diverse uses beyond mobility, like the emergency backup power desperately needed in the wake of Hurricanes Helene and Milton. Innovations like Toyota's hydrogen cartridges are indicative of a growing commitment among major manufacturers to make hydrogen fuel more user-friendly and widespread. Next up, Alpine a French automaker known for its racing heritage is now embracing a hydrogen-powered future. Their Alpenglow concept features a 750-horsepower hydrogen V6 engine, emitting only water vapor while delivering high-performance thrills. This innovation aims to prove that clean energy can meet the demands of motorsports with a bold vision for Le Mans in 2028. Alpine's push into hydrogen technology showcases their commitment to sustainability without compromising on power or excitement. Last article for today, Harvard researchers and the IEA have issued a report on the high costs of green hydrogen, predicting it will remain niche without major reductions in production, storage, and distribution costs. While there's optimism about technological advancements, projections show green hydrogen will only account for about 4% of global supply by 2030. Green hydrogen's cost hurdles can be disappointing if green hydrogen production methods continue to rely on old technology and expensive electricity. Even free equipment and maintenance doesn't address green hydrogen's major cost driver, electricity. It accounts for 73% of production costs. The world needs an innovative first mover before off-takers like Toyota and Alpine fully commit, which has to happen in order to build economies of scale and push prices down. That's why it's critical for new hydrogen's pending thermal loop technology to succeed. By using potentially free waste heat instead of expensive electricity, this radical new technology will be quickly adopted first by even the most stubborn, hard to abate sectors in heavy industries like steel, cement, and petrochemicals, which account for 30% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Adoption in these sectors will lead to a cascade of green hydrogen implementation, which we believe will be the kickstart needed for broad adoption, ushering in a new green hydrogen economy. If you'd like to learn more about new hydrogen's thermal loop technology now under development at UC Santa Barbara, please visit us at newhydrogen.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next week.